Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. wa barakatuh. Hello everyone, thank you for clicking on the Origin Pets channel again, which is a channel that discusses information about Indonesia, as we know that Indonesia is an archipelago that has 17,500 islands and only about 8,000 islands have been inhabited. Therefore, in addition to having a variety of natural beauty, Indonesia also has various tribes, cultures and unique traditions spread throughout the archipelago. For this video, it introduces 11 unique, sadistic and astonishing traditions from several regions, but this is only a small part of the many other cultures and traditions and is spread throughout the archipelago. Before we continue this discussion, if you like this channel, please press the subscribe and like buttons. Thank you. Number 1. Iki Palak Tradition This tradition comes from the Dani tribe on the island of Papua, namely by cutting one of the finger joints as a symbol of grief or sadness over the death of their family members. They believe that crying alone is not enough to represent the sadness felt. Losing a family member is the same as losing some of their strength, and they also consider that sadness will not happen again. Number 2. Debus Tradition This tradition comes from the Badui tribe in Banten, Java Island, which has its own uniqueness, namely unique martial arts. Debus is a tradition of martial arts performances with sadistic and extreme attractions in the form of someone who is immune to sharp weapons and acid. Number 3. Pandan War Tradition The Pandan War is a cultural tradition that takes place in Bali, especially in Tenganan village. This event is a symbolic war ritual involving two groups of men fighting each other using thorny pandan leaves. Although it looks like a conflict, the purpose of the Pandan War is to strengthen social relations between villagers, celebrate courage, and as part of a religious ceremony. Number 4. Mangakul Holy Tradition This tradition is carried out by the Batak Toba people of North Sumatra with the aim of honoring their ancestors. This tradition is carried out by digging up and excavating the graves of people who have died and rotted for a long time. All the bones are taken, cleaned and then moved to a new cemetery.
Number 5. Tradition of Hitting Broomsticks This tradition is carried out in the Morella and Mamala areas, Central Maluku Regency, which is carried out every 8th of Siawal or the 7th day after Eid al-Fitr, with the aim of preserving culture and remembering Telyukabisi's struggle in the Kapahaha War. This tradition is in the form of an attraction of hitting each other's bodies until they are injured and bleed using broomsticks. They do it with great joy. Number 6. Manene Tradition Manene is a unique and meaningful tradition from the Taraja tribe in South Sulawesi, Indonesia. This tradition is known as the Grave Cleaning Ceremony, which is held periodically. Usually once every three years the Manene is a ritual where families gather to clean the bodies of their ancestors. This means that the relationship between family members is not severed even though they have been separated by death and the Manene ceremony. The Taraja family will open the grave, clean the remains of the corpse's clothes, and replace them with new clothes that match their profession during their lifetime. This ritual comes from the story of a hunter named Pong Rumasek. He found the body of a deceased person in the mountain forest, then Pong took the body and dressed it in clothes that were suitable for burial. After that, Pong experienced extraordinary blessings, such as faster harvests and easy hunting so that Pong concluded that the bodies of deceased people must be cared for and respected. Number 7. Paola Tradition Pasola is a traditional war tradition carried out by the people of West Sumba. East Nusa Tengera, Paola is carried out by competing in dexterity throwing wooden javelins from horseback. This tradition is part of the Marapa ritual ceremony and is carried out to celebrate the rice planting season and the match. They ride horses while throwing spears at their opponents and avoiding their opponents' attacks. Blood splashes are considered to have symbolic meaning for fertility and harvest success. Death in Paola is considered a sign of violation of customary norms carried out by residents at the place where Paola is held. Number 8. Pasaliran Tradition Pasaliran is a tradition of burying babies in tree trunks in Kambira village, Taraja. South Sulawesi, however, only babies who have not yet grown teeth will be buried here when they die because they are considered still sacred, like returning the baby to its mother's womb. The Terra tree was chosen because it has a lot of sap. They believe that the sap can be a substitute for breast milk. Number 9. Tooth Filing Tradition The Tooth Filing Tradition is a tradition carried out by Mentaway women in West Sumatra to sharpen their teeth for spiritual, social, and aesthetic purposes. If usually a woman who wants to look beautiful by taking care of her face and maintaining her body shape, things are different for women in the Mentaway tribe. They beautify themselves by sharpening their teeth and making tattoos on their bodies. The Mentaway people believe that to get happiness in the soul must be followed and in line with the shape of the body. They believe that filing teeth can add to the aura of beauty and symbolize the maturity of a woman. For the Mentaway tribe, a woman can be said to be beautiful if she has met three criteria, namely having long ears, a body decorated with tattoos and sharp teeth. 
The tooth filing tradition is carried out manually with iron or wooden tools that are sharpened until sharp. The process is very painful and takes a long time because it is done without anesthesia. Number 10. Taiwa Ritual Tradition The Taiwa Ritual is a traditional ceremony of the Dayak tribe that aims to deliver the spirits of ancestors or relatives who have died to the eternal place. It is done by dismantling graves and collecting the bones of the people who will be Taiwa head. Then a traditional ceremony is carried out accompanied by sacred dances and animal sacrifices by spearing. Then the bones are wrapped in red cloth and placed in a sandung or storage place for one family. Number 11 or the last of this content is the Lamafa tradition. The Lamafa tradition is a whale hunt carried out by the Lamalar community in Lambeda Regency, East Nusa Tenggara in a traditional way, harpoon. The whales that are harpooned are Physitor macrocephalus or called Kodaklima by the locals. Then the results of the whale catch are not only used for personal consumption, but also distributed to local residents or exchanged for food. Tempuling adalah tombak kayu sepanjang kurang lebih 4 meter dengan mata tombak dari besi sepanjang 30 cm. Setelah itu, anggota tim lainnya juga akan melemparkan lebih banyak tombak ke mangsanya dan setelah paus mati, mereka bersama-sama membawa hasil buruan. Thus information about unique traditions in Indonesia, although only a small part that I describe in this content. Hopefully this information is useful and may Allah always give his grace and guidance to all of us. Amen amen ya rabble alamin.